All right. In this video, I'm going to overview a skill that you learned back in lab one. And that is how to identify an object that's moving through your image. Now we do this by comparing your image or the image your class acquired to an archival image acquired a very long time ago as part of a grand survey of the entire sky now called the digitized sky survey. If the object is moving across the sky and it's in your field of view now, it almost certainly wasn't in the same field of view in the same place in the sky back when the archival image was taken. So by comparing the two, you can identify the moving object in your image. Now back in lab one, we did this to identify a dwarf planet. In this lab, we're going to do this to identify an asteroid. So let me share my screen. Okay, here we are in Afterglow. And the first thing we need to do is find your data. As described in the previous video, this is a special observation. It's not just an observation of an asteroid, but it's two simultaneously acquired observations of this asteroid. One using a telescope in the Southern Hemisphere and one using a telescope in the Northern Hemisphere. To achieve this simultaneity requires a higher priority special access level called target of opportunity or TOO. And this isn't something that we can just give to everyone, but we did give it to your instructor who then acquired these observations on behalf of the entire class. Now to find these observations, you go to open files, double click on Skynet, and in here, you'll find two directories, user observations and group observations. The observations that you have acquired throughout this course are in the user observations directory, but your instructor's observations, along with a great many other observations, are in the group observations directory. Since there'll be so many observations in here, your instructor will let you know which folders correspond to the observations of this asteroid. And for the purposes of this exercise, identifying the asteroid, you only need to open one image from either of these observation folders. Now, if your instructor did not acquire fresh data, you're welcome to use archival data of an asteroid acquired by the Skynet team some time ago. To find this, you go to files, you go to the sample directory, Astro 101 lab, lab four parallax. And here you can see a handful of asteroids acquired in different semesters. Any one will do. I'll go into the most recent one and you'll see two folders, parallax and movie, go into the parallax folder. And here you have two simultaneously acquired observations from different telescopes in different hemispheres. Again, to identify the asteroid, we only need to open one of these and I've already opened the first one. We see it here. So we have a field of stars and somewhere in this field, is the asteroid. One of these points of light is the asteroid. And to figure out which one, we're going to open the digitized sky survey, the DSS. So we come over here to the gear icon and import the DSS. It may take a second. And it will load as a separate tab in the same image window. We'll now want to split the screen. So you can right click on this and split down. So down here we have the DSS. Up here we have the classes image of the same field. And looking at the two of them, 
I can already see the pattern. I can match up stars across the two images. Now to help with that, we go back to the gear symbol and sync the orientations and it should be set to sky. And when you do this, the two become locked and you can zoom into any part of the image and find stars in common. And we'll want to mark those stars that are common between the two images and that will help us find the one point of light that is only in our image and not in the archival image. And that is of course the asteroid. So let's go to the marker tool. I'll turn centroid clicks on. So let's start with this pattern here. Three of them in a row of intermediate brightness. Corresponds to those three right there. We have these two, this one and this one. This really bright one is this one. We have kind of a double here and another little one. So there's the double and the little one. So by now, it should be pretty clear that this is the asteroid. You don't have an object of comparable brightness at this location in the DSS. So let's click on it again and label it. Now, of course, this is the asteroid in this image. You will have your own image of a different part of the sky, of a different asteroid, and you'll need to find the asteroid in your image. But once you've gone through this procedure, all that remains is to save JPEGs of each of these using the camera icon here and here, and then upload those JPEGs into your WebAssign lab. Okay, that's it.